The Mobile Content Simulator is an excellent addition to the toolset within Flash Professional CS6. In this lesson, we'll provide an overview of the usage of this new tool. So I have a mobile project open here, and it's targeting Air 3.2 for Android. It doesn't really matter what we target, as long as we're targeting either Android or iOS in this case. We just don't want to target something like Flash Player or Air for Desktop. Because if we do that, the mobile content simulator just isn't going to function. You can access the simulator through either debug controls, going to Debug Movie, and choosing Air Debug Launcher Mobile, or going to Control Test Movie in Air Debug Launcher Mobile. So you have to make sure to choose the mobile version and not the desktop version. When we choose desktop, we can see that it outputs the SWIFT as an Air package here, but you don't actually get any sort of uh, tools along with this. There's no simulator that appears. And this is how things have sort of worked in previous versions of Flash Professional. If I close that and I go in Control Test Movie in Air Debug Launcher Mobile, this will do something quite different. So it exports the SWIFT, opens up our movie, but it also opens up this little simulator window. And you can see that the simulator actually floats atop of Flash Professional and also atop of our project itself. So this is always something that we have immediately at our fingertips here. There are a number of different things that are actually simulated through the simulator. You can see up top, if we're targeting Android, we can target the menu back and search buttons. We can also target accelerometer events, touch and gesture events, and geolocation events. When we're finished using the simulator, all we have to do is close out our movie, and the simulator will also go away. So this has been a simple overview of the mobile content simulator when targeting Air for mobile using Flash Professional CS6.